it's broke again. Hey everyone, it's Mandy and Sydney with Lesby Fit Adventures. Welcome back to our RV journey. This week we're dealing with yet another water leak in our brand new Brinkley RV. But first, let us take you on an unforgettable adventure in Helper, Utah. We'll be braving the snow, tasting the best pizza ever, and visiting the prehistoric museum where we'll see the raptor fossil that inspired the raptors in Jurassic Park. Plus, we embark on an epic hike to a waterfall where we nearly get run over by an off-roader. We'll also show you all the steps of preparing our rig for travel day and the hitching process. This episode is fast-paced, action-packed, and a lot of fun. You won't want to miss a moment. So hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and join us on this incredible adventure with Lesby Fit Adventures. We thought we were chasing 70 degrees. Look at this snow. It's been snowing all day. Just out walking the dogs in this hailstorm that swept through all of a sudden with these slushy pea-sized snowballs pelting the poor dogs. <laughs> Oh my word. Does this make you think of Ohio? When your soul is lonely, sad and blue Ain't got no love and shoulders to lean on There's always a sunny side across the river Take a ride, take a swim and all you want So, like everybody, I love pizza, and if we're looking for like a traditional red sauce pizza, I am a big fan of a meatball pie, and I, guys, I think I just ate the best meatball pie I have ever had in my life, and I see you looking at this tray judging me, but hey, Mandy helped me out. It was so good. Creamy ricotta, fresh basil on top after it's baked, the perfect size chunks of meatballs so they got crispy in the oven, mozzarella, nice light sauce, and the best part, they make their own dough here. It was light, it was crunchy on the crust, but also nice and chewy. Best meatball pie I've ever had here at Helper Beer in Helper, Utah. One of the main reasons that we stay in small towns like Helper, Utah, are really because it's so affordable to do a monthly stay. And with us launching our own businesses, you know, Manny just launched her app. Uh, we're still new, trying to get better and better at YouTube all the time. Uh, so we need a lot of work time. So it's really, you know, more affordable for us to stay in these small towns. But when you work from home in that tiny space, you can get cooped up. And the great thing about some of these most beautiful places and these awesome campgrounds is that you can walk right outside and literally be on the river. And the last 72 hours that we've been here have been the most, some of the most beautiful birds I have ever seen in real life. Um, and it's just been fun to watch them zip and zigzag across the river from branch to branch. And it's just a good way to take a break, reset, or even come down here. They've got picnic tables everywhere. We've come outside to do some work and it's been awesome. Hey, Booski, are you editing? <laughs> Did you take over editing? I wish you would. <laughs> <laughs> We are in Price, Utah, walking into the prehistoric museum. And this area of Utah is known for finding fossils of the largest raptors on earth. And we can't wait to go see them. Left the big city for the simple country life. Found myself a woman that it took for me to be my way. I was working on the ground come a sun up to sun time. 
Hey, I'm trying to make a reputation for a man inside this town Hard as I try, maybe I just can't I ain't no up and kind of leaving me She kissed me one time and she took my heart Baby, you can love me, you can leave me I'm a honky-tonk star Yeah, I'm a honky-tonk star Well, work at three jobs, living out of He circles the whole room Oh, I get it, okay, so head here and holy pajamas. That's Debbie. Yeah, I'm a honky tonk star. A little leg on leg comparison. Fem so we've got femur, lower part of the leg, foot. Holy. The femur alone's bigger than my whole body. Well, working three jobs, living out of the car. Mama never told me life would get this hard. Run around the world playing. Like, there's so much to see, and the more you see, the more there really is. I've started second field. Repeat, started second field. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. This every day, and I'm still so amazed by you. So hold me tight through the night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just us two. Because who doesn't love to come and look at a waterfall? You know I'm here to stay every single day. an off road. We just came up this very steep hill and it's kind of like a, it's on little horseshoe bend action. But as we got to the top here, coming around the corner here very fast was a pickup truck that had zero shot of seeing us. So thank God she heard it first. So we started yelling and then I ran. I saw this little kind of dirt path to get up here and jumped up here and started and thankfully we did not get hit because it was very close and i was just saying to mandy uh, we always tease each other we normally carry our whistles when we're on a hike and today we forgot to grab them and that is exactly what they are for and it's the one time that we needed them so that was the most intense hill already everybody was already all out of breath yeah it was steep straight up and just as we were starting to come around that curve I could start to hear tires and so I hollered at her and I just I double scooped the great thing about small dog double scooped got him got out of the road and we started hollering and thankfully the guy had his window down and he was going slow and cautious and and stopped and everybody was safe yes. but just a reminder I mean this is a an off-road trail um 
you know, everybody sharing the trail with everybody. It's travel day and we're excited to hit the road. We've been here in Helper, Utah for the last 30 days, which has been a productive 30 days, lots of work done. Got my fitness app ready to launch. I'm so excited to bring that to you. So we're getting ready to pack up. And after 30 days of the life of luxury, as we pack up, we are taking on our second ever attempt of boondocking. You know what the first attempt was like, full of rookie moves. And this time we're gonna try to go nine full days without needing to dump our tanks. You think we can do it? Woo! Water's gonna be the biggest challenge. You think we can do it? Stay tuned to find out. Small town, big crowd. And there you were in front of me. Small talk, big thoughts. All we wanted was to escape. This town's too small for dreams like this. Don't wanna settle down. Keeping a spray bottle out here. Woo! <laughs> So I'm pulling everything out of the basement to get everything packed back in. And I just had everything out yesterday, so this is new. And on one of the bins, we've got water. It's in the same spot as before, right under the kitchen. The check valve? Right under the bathroom sink. So I wonder if it was the check valve. All right, let's go look inside. Seems like with the water at the bottom. Right here, we got some water. Doesn't look too wet up by the check valve. But I'm assuming that's what it is again. There's not much water in here for how much. Definitely, it's wet right up in here. It's that check valve again. It lasted, geez, three months, but it's broke again. Is that what it is? Yeah, it's the check valve again, I'm assuming. Thankfully, it's not a lot up here and down there. And I guess the good news is, is well, we won't be using that for the next nine days, so we have some time to get it fixed. What? Okay, so it's the check valve? Yeah. Are the plastic slides? For my metal on metal. One for the resting, for the adjusting, one for the tired hands, one for the letdowns, all thanks to the soul town, one for the shattered plans. You know the time has come for breaking some new ground. I'll let you drive, so we will stare at views we can't believe.
for the tired hands One for the letdowns All thanks to this soul town One for the shattered plans You're still my Past the point of no return, baby, on the summer night The shot of love and the spark of love to be the Stars of light and the month time night burn like the ground out leaves I will leave it on the next train, baby, I do believe Come on, let's ride this train I don't feel square for been here You're probably not you're square enough. If you want to come look at it, please do. Take your time. I think you look good, but you you got to feel good about it, too. So I'm probably going to have to take your hair lower, but I'm going to wait till you get a bit closer. Yeah, you look great. Feel good? Yeah, I'm going to get obviously closer. Cause yeah, let me look at the height. I'm about two feet closer. Let's ride this. I love Miley and Dor. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Miley and Dor.